you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video, guys. And <coughs> excuse me, guys. Today we're gonna be going to a little market talk. Sorry about yesterday, guys. I do. I truly apologize. I was so pissed yesterday. My internet went out yesterday morning, so I couldn't post my content video. Luckily, I had a video pre-recorded, but. The timing was horrible because I posted it during content, so everyone watched content, no one watched that video. Then I posted the content video when I got home, and things fixed. But then no one watched that because everyone knew about the Legends already, so it was just complete botch. I'm really sorry for all that. I literally put my video up and it said, we'll be rendered in two hours. I was like, what the hell? It usually takes me two minutes. I don't know, it was all messed up, but today we're back to our normally scheduled broadcast. You know what I'm talking about. We got Market Talk. I think I'm going to be doing a gameplay today. I got to start doing more gameplays on this channel. I know you guys have been asking for it. I'm so sorry about that. I will be doing some more with the, maybe with the God Squad today that I just suggested if you guys saw the shopping spree. And then I'll probably be doing a training video for you guys so I can update all the training values. Seems good? I think it sounds good. Maybe a fourth if I can think of another idea. But guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash the, make sure to smash the sub button, boys. We're on that grind to 10K. If you guys want that 10K subscriber special, you better hit it by September 6th. I got something crazy planned for you guys. If you guys like my content, you're going to love this video. You're going to love it. It's not going to be like anything you probably have ever seen. At least in my realm of community, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Also, guys, make sure to smash the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. Let's get 300 likes in this video. Every single one of you guys watching this. If you're a subscriber, you better like this video. Better like this video. I trust in you guys to hit this. Let's get this channel momentum back up, boys, and let's start doing it. Also, comment down below what you think of the player prices right now and what you think of what happened yesterday. So, pretty much, the market kind of crashed in theory due to the legends that dropped yesterday. I don't know what it was, but I got a lot of cheap players. If you guys didn't see the shop for video, I got Tom Brady for like 126. I got Bruce Matthews for like 130, which is very cheap. No, Bruce Matthews for 230, I'm sorry. Bruce Matthews for 230. I picked up the, the fullback on the Ravens for like 76K, which isn't bad at all. So you guys know how we run this. 80 to 81, we work our way up. So 80 is still 13K. Like I said, these won't move too much just because they're 80 overall so like they're kind of stagnant they might come down to like 10k or up to 15 but that's about it 81 to 14k again these will not be good training values so when i go over that video you guys will know that 80 to 81s haven't really moved much so i'm not gonna really stay too much here but i recommend investing in any of them probably not not at this point 82k 82 players still a little they're actually a little up right now 83 the 83s are 27k so same price these have not moved a lot since the game has dropped to be honest with you guys but let's go to the 84s, 85s. So 84s are 35k. So these are actually a bit down. If you guys remember like a week ago, these were like 45k, like 42k, then the next ones are 50. So it all depends where the 85 are, so I can base this on that. 85s are at 85s, 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 80s. Damn. The 85s are still at 50k. But these are at 35k right now. So these might not be the worst training option, actually. I'm gonna have to go over the, the values in a little bit. But these are not horrible at all. So if you guys had to get any cards, if you guys want any 84s, now would probably be the time. Let's go over to the 86, 87s. So 86s haven't really changed too much. Guys, if you had watched this yesterday, if you guys had, if I did this yesterday when thing when my internet actually worked, prices were crazy down. Yesterday was a time to buy, but high cards are still down. So remember that as we get up. So these haven't changed too much. The 87s actually are a bit down. 92k depending, like Julio Jones for 94k. Not bad at all. Julio Jones for 94k is actually a pretty good buy, especially because when he gets a new card, that will go up and he'll be way more valuable then. Now, a few more, probably some themed diamonds. I mean, Jason Seahorn was a little cheap when he first came out. Theme diamonds went really far down. They came up a little bit. Some of them did at least. Earl Thomas is a bit down now, but that's only because he's really, he's like, okay. I mean, he plays good for me, but like his stats don't really show it. Fletcher Cox, I really want him. He's a really good card. Mahomes is actually down to 140. That is not bad at all. If you guys ever wanted Mahomes, now probably be the time. Von Miller's down a little bit. Jalen Ramsey's actually down a little bit. He was like 220. Okay, so now this is where the big bucks. 88 to 89. So 130 for an 88. That's not too bad. If you guys remember a week ago, these were about like 150. A few days ago, they were about 150. That's why training sucked for them. But now it wasn't. So when I got Tom Brady for 126, I bought it. Easy training. So the 88s are not too bad right now. But I recommend buying Tom Brady to keep, possibly, if you need a quarterback. If you can't, if you don't have Mahomes and you don't have Steve Young, and you don't have uh, any of those top or John Elway. Brady's actually a pretty good quarterback at the price. Um, DeAndre Hopkins is around a similar price. I mean, he has one up, he has one down, but around base. Same with Bobby Wagner. It's kind of like his base price. Marvin Harrison is a little down. He's below 200K now, so that's not too bad. 
He's kind of like a better Tyreek Hill, in my opinion. People are really overrating Tyreek Hill this year. I really don't think he's as worth it. I kind of want to sell him, but I'm scared he's going to get a new card soon. He's going to skyrocket. So if you guys have Tyreek Hill power-ups, I would hold them. Because when he does get that new Team of the Week or whatever card, he probably will boom to like 100k in that power-up. So just quick little advice there. Ken Houston's down a little bit. He's at 215. The Lawrence Taylor piece went down quite a ton because Lawrence Taylor only goes for like four, uh, 390 now. I did do the whole set yesterday on Legend Saturday for about 320k. So I recommend, guys. If you ever want to do a Lawrence, if you ever want to do a Legend set, save it till Saturday. Wait right when the packs drop. Just sit there on their set and just snipe out their pieces individually. Start with the top one and go all the way down. Marcus Allen is down to, and it looks like 246, but he's probably a little, a little lower than that if you look them up individually. These came down a good amount. Odell was like 230 at a point when the yesterday. So these definitely came down because they were sitting well, well over 300. Now let's 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 do it by this. I want to show you guys Khalil Mack and Aaron Donald. So Max actually down to 220. Mac was 185 yesterday when the market happened. So remember, guys, Legend Saturday, big bundles like that, you always got to take advantage. He was down to 180-ish, 190-ish around there, and that's really cheap for some Khalil Mac. Obviously, right now, Von Miller is better. You guys compare. So I obviously have both of them. I want to sell Mac, but the issue is I know there's going to be a new Mac card at some point, and Mac's going to be really expensive, and I'm going to want that new Mac, and I'll just get rid of my Von Miller. So I haven't really decided. Maybe we can put him down to end. I, have, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet. Now let's go check out Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald was 270 a few days ago. He's not 235. He was like 205 yesterday. So just make sure you always check that when things drop. Always check the top cards like that. Now if we head on up to 90s, 91s. I believe these are down too. We got the 90s coming in at 250. Okay, so occasionally you can find them for like 235, 245. So these definitely are really cheap right now. Bruce Matthews was well over 300k a few days ago. John Elway was like at 280. Derek Brooks was 280. Jerry Rice was at 300. These prices were what they were like a week or two ago, but then they went back up and now they're back down. Patrick Mahomes, the superstars, I told you guys to sell them. I told you guys it was gonna happen. I didn't sell mine because I was competing. You know, I compete online for trophies and stuff. I'm always trying to get stuff for the channel. But Patrick Mahomes was at 405K, 410K. I said to sell, now he's 330. So you guys lost probably like after reduction. No, you probably lost like 70K total. Luke Keekley came down a bit, but I still don't think he's worth it for that price. He's a really good middle linebacker, but he's a little too slow for that price. Todd Gurley came down a bit, but I still think Marcus Allen's better at the moment. Or even Corey Dillon. If you guys don't know, Corey Dillon's kind of a beast too, fully powered up. Lawrence Taylor's definitely down. People were buying him for 750k. I told you guys not to buy Lawrence Taylor for 750k. I said just wait a week. There's no weekend league. There's no rush. Hope you guys sold him because a lot of people commented how they got screwed with that. It's definitely depressing. Willie Brown, by the way, is probably the best cornerback in the game. 87 speed, 90 man, 89 zone, and 88 press, and 88 play rec. If you put lockdown on him, he has above 90 man, above 90 zone, above 90 press, above 90 play rec, and an 87 speed. He breaks all the thresholds. He's going to be one of the best corners for at least a month or two. He's going to be at least up there with the best corners, not the... Now, Steve Young is interesting. A little too expensive for my blood right now, but he does get that OP ability uh, escape artist, which is like this year's evasive for scrambling quarterbacks. So like that's their glitchy ability. So like if you know in real life, what mobile quarterbacks can do like in real life, you ever seen like Deshaun Watson or Michael Vick when they're like in the behind line of scrimmage and they're like juking people out and running in circles. So escape artist makes it so you're like super fast behind the line of scrimmage. So if you get that ability, you could literally outrun people, avoid sacks, break loose. It's pretty overpowered. I cannot wait to have a Michael Vick with escape artist, with Marcus Allen, with evasive or any running back. Gonna be kind of OP. Now, the, 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 again, the limited times I don't really care for because the limited times so their prices are going to be out there. Um, if you have the signature series cards, please sell them. Eddie Jackson for a million coins is just a steal. Please sell them. It's not worth it. It's just dumb to keep him up on that. Now, for the final card, we do have this Kurt Warner. Wow, he came down a lot. He was 3 million coins a few days ago. He was 3 million coins like yesterday. I hope someone, I hope someone sold him for that price because that the poor guy that bought that. But I don't even know if he's worth 950k because if you think about it, I mean, I guess because you get every theme diamond, right? So... If you do the whole set, the sets probably cost you close to 3 million coins. If you do it, if you sell the theme diamond back, it's probably cost you like 1.3. So it probably cost you close, you probably lose a little money on this if you probably did the set. I mean, I've never done the math, so I can't exactly be exact on that. But I'd imagine. So my best overall tips right now is if you have 80, if you want to buy cards right now, buy the 88s, 89s. Look at that. 127 right there. That's a good training value. Buy some of these if you guys really want cards now. If you don't, you could just wait because again, we can leave still not until next weekend. Probably get some more content this week. Probably get some more bundles. Probably kill some more prices. So, you guys want to wait? Understandable. But if you want some cards right now, this might not be the time. Marvin Harrison, 184. Pretty cheap. Some theme diamonds. I mean, I'm not a fan of the theme diamonds, to be honest with you guys. Unless you power them all the way up to the 90. I'm not really a fan of that. And I'm, like, a lot of these theme diamond cards won't be getting permanent cards. Because, like, let's say you probably power up Sean Phillips to 90. Like, yeah, he's cool. But that's it. If you understand what I'm trying to say, like, he won't be getting a big card for probably the rest of the game if he even does. So, for that reason alone, I'm kind of off the steam diamond because they're kind of like a waste of coins in my opinion. 
But guys, that's about it for the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smack the like button. Every loyal subscriber, if you're watching this, you better like the video. Let's get this 300 likes. Comment down below what you guys have been picking up and what investments you've been making. Also, make sure to smash the sub button. Come on, the road to 10K is booming right now. We're on pace very well. So guys, just smash the sub button. Let's get it going. Also, turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, boys. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.